so today i'm just gonna be teaching you guys how to make this bag first you just want to take two of your ribbons and line them up mine are multicolored, so i'm using two different colored rolls of ribbon then you just want to measure it out three and a half times the length of your bag form so this length is about two meters and you'll be able to do two sections of the bag with this length of ribbon so now you just want to take your weaving tool and your ribbon and just thread the two ribbons into the weaving tool pull it through and just a little bit is enough then you want to take your back form and thread your ribbon through the first bottom hole right there pull it through and just leave a little bit at the ends as well and now you just want to hold that down and counting upwards one two three four five six seven and then just thread your ribbon through the hole like so pull it through and now you just want to hold that small piece down again and then thread your ribbon through the next bottom hole pull it out again and just the same as before just thread your ribbon through the seventh hole above so now you just want to continue doing that for seven times so as you guys can see this is just another angle for you guys so that you guys will be able to see it more clearly and i'm on my last two sections of this part of the bag and what i'm doing is just the same thing which is threading the ribbon through the bottom hole and then pulling it out through the seventh hole So after you've done that for 7 times, you just want to thread your ribbon through the bottom hole of the section that you just finished and then pulling it through 7 holes across. Now you just want to continue doing this for 7 times horizontally. And here when you're threading through the first hole, just make sure that you are threading it through the correct hole which should be under the vertical section that you just made. And the reason you want to do this is because this bag is specifically made for 5 7 times 7 size sections for each row and it also makes the bag look more seamless and more professional so now i'm on my last row of my horizontal section and now you just want to turn your bag form over to the other side take your weaving tool and just thread it through the weaves that you just made then you want to pull it through and make sure your ribbon is tight. You can just stop here and just cut off the ribbon but what I like to do is just to make a small knot so that it's more secure and just so that nothing falls apart. So you just want to make sure that the knot is more within the weaves just so that you can't really see it that clearly. And then now you just want to cut off the excess ribbon and then tuck the knot in and make everything nice and neat so here's just a small time lapse of me doing the bag while i'm watching netflix and it's a pretty good project to do during mco and it's not that hard i would probably say it's a 2 out of 10 in difficulty and a quick tip after i've done the bag is since the bag fits five sections and the length i just told you guys was only two the math is on the screen right now for how much you need for three sections instead of two and here is just how the bag looked when i was halfway done so now you just want to continue weaving it until it looks something like this and this is how it looks under natural lights and under normal lights so the next part we're going to be doing are these side pieces and first of all you're just going to measure out 5 times the length of your bag form. So now you 
just want to start weaving from the part where the middle part ends and that will be your first hole and then you pull it through and then just the same as the middle part you just have to hold it down and then weave it seven times vertically After you're done with that, you just want to move on and do the horizontal ones for 7 as well. After you're done with that, you just want to take the D-shaped metal thing and just line it up. And here is a better angle so that you can see that. It has to line up with the top. So now you just want to thread it through the hole counting from the top, the third hole down. And then going out through the fourth hole. So you're going to want to pull it really tight and then you have to do it two times just to keep it in place so it's nice and secure. And just the same, the third hole down, thread your ribbon through and then out through the fourth hole. So on the other side, you're going to want to do the same thing, threading it through the third and then going out through the fourth. So after that, you just want to thread your ribbon through the hole of the last row that you ended. And then now you just want to go and weave vertically and go through that hole, not the small triangular hole at the top because it's too small and your ribbon can't really go through it. But don't worry, it's going to be covered up later. So just weave as normal and then for the third, you just want to go through the metal thing and then just weave it through. And then just weave as normal, just passing through the metal thing and then just weave until you finish. So now just like how you usually did, just weave your tool through the weaves that you made and just tie it down or cut it off. So now you just want to repeat that on the other side. So the next step we will use to cover up these holes that you see. So the first thing you just want to start off and then the easy thing is to just weave it in and then just hold it tight so that you don't have to hide the ribbon later. So just hold it in place and then go through the first hole at the top as I am showing here. And then after that, you just want to go seven holes across and just fill in those gaps right there. So now I'm just showing you guys a close-up of what I was doing. So basically, you just want to thread your ribbon through one of the sections and then hold that in place. And then what you want to do now is just thread your ribbon through the first hole and then thread it in through the last and then just continue doing that all the way until you finish all the sides.
So now that you've reached the side pieces, all you want to do is just bring the ribbon over to the side piece and then just thread it through the first hole and then out through the seventh and just continue doing that. So here you just want to go through the first hole and then you don't have to go in through this triangular hole just because your ribbon can't fit through that. So here is where I'm covering it. And what I preferred is just to do it two times just so it looks more covered. And yeah. So after you've gone through the whole bag, you're going to have something that looks like this. So now you want to turn your bag to the outside and then just look at the shorter part of your bag form. Then just take your magnet and take the bottom part. This is the bottom part as I'm showing here. And then you just want to look for the four sections that I'm showing here. And then put the magnet into the middle of those sections. So you just want to pop the two legs that are on the magnet into the adjacent holes of that middle part right there. And I'll be showing you guys that in a close-up later. So now as you can see, that's just the middle of the sections. And then you just want to open up your ribbons and then just try to find the holes and just slot it in. And then after that, you just want to press them onto both sides, just like that. And then you can just cover it with the ribbons. So after you've done both sides of the magnet, just want to turn it around to the inside of the bag. And then just follow my examples there. And then you just want to count seven holes across and then four holes down. And that is the place where your top magnet is supposed to be. So just the same as the ones before, you just want to open it up and then just look for the hole which is four holes counting downwards and then just slot the magnet into the holes next to it. So now just the same thing, you want to turn it over and then just press it down on both sides so that it's secure and then now you can see the metal is out so you can just take your weaving tool and just move the ribbon around so that it will cover it nicely. So now the next step, you just want to join the side parts. So you just want to join the long part with the side pieces and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that right now. So first things first, you just want to line up the holes together and then just want to take a bobby pin and just line the two holes together and then just put it through so that it will hold the bag in place. This is optional, I just find that this is easier so that the sides don't move. And then now you just want to take your ribbon and then just thread it through the first hole right there. You also really want to make sure that the sides are lined up perfectly and the holes are lined up perfectly as well or else your bag will look a bit wonky. And so the next step here is a bit weird and you can't really see that clearly. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the end piece that I left out and then I'm just holding it back for now and threading the second hole first. And then when I pull the ribbon through and I have a loop, I'm just gonna put the end piece into the loop and then press it down on the other side so that it will start hiding the ends. So this step isn't actually that hard, it's just because there was a camera in my way so it looks really weird on camera right now. But yeah, it was a bit hard for me to thread the ribbon through the holes and stuff while there was a camera right in front of me. So I had to just move away and just do that a lot. 
but basically what you want to do is just thread your um, ribbon through the back side and then to the front every single time and then just try to hide your ends along the way so now you're just gonna continue doing this step wrapping the sides and connecting the back all the way until the top and I will explain how to do the top later on so now that we're done with the side we're just gonna go to the top and then you don't want to thread it through the first small triangular hole you just want to thread it through the hole next to it and you can see it is covered so you just want to continue doing that all the way until you finish the top part. So now that you are done with the top, you can just thread it through and then just turn it to the back and just thread your ribbon through the weaves on the side section and pull it through and then either cut or knot it then just do this on the other side so now I'm just going to teach you guys how to connect the side to the front and then just finishing off the front part as well so now you just want to do the same thing as before just connect the sides and make sure they are all lined up and then you can just put a bobby pin in right now if you want I kind of forgot that so you just want to thread your ribbon through the first hole leaving a bit at the end and then you just want to do the same thing as before, connecting the bag while hiding the ends. And if you're wondering why the back part of my bag is still flapping around while we already did the step just now, I forgot that we were supposed to do the back first and I did the front first, so I just... Yeah... <laughs> So after you're done connecting the sides of the bag, we just want to continue to wrap the top part of the bag just like how you did before when you were doing the side pieces. So you just want to continue doing that all the way and then just connect the side pieces as how you did before. So now I'm just teaching you guys how to connect the top part of the side of the bag and the front part. So you just want to line up the two holes and then just thread your ribbon through the holes. So now that you are at the end piece, you can just thread the ribbon into the bag or if you don't want to do that, you can also just thread your ribbon into the side of the outside of the bag but I just didn't really like that, I just liked it to be the inside so I just put it in and then now I'm just tying a small knot in there and then just cutting the excess ribbon off. So now as you can see I just cut it off and then I just hit the knot inside of the ribbon and you couldn't really see it so I 10 out of 10 recommend that. 
So now for the top of the bag, you just want to do the exact same thing that you did just now and just wrap the sides of the top of the bag and just make it look nice and pretty because this is literally the last step. are done with wrapping the sides you just want to thread your ribbon into the inside of the bag and pull the ribbon through and just like before either knot or cut it off and now you are done with the whole weaving part now you just want to put the front piece on and it's really simple just find the middle of the bag and then there should be two centers and just stick it in turn it around and then just press the legs in like so so now you are officially done with the bag and this is how it looks without the chain and this is with so this is a really great bag to just spice up any really simple outfits and here I'm just wearing a polo tee that I cropped and then some thrifted jeans that is the end of the video and if you guys liked it just remember to like and subscribe and if you want to buy the bag all of the links will be down in the description box down below so hopefully i'll be posting a new video soon until then it's been jomin your homie